Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. So did you think that Putin was bad? <laughs> well the thing is uh, Putin has nuclear weapons but this guy doesn't have nuclear weapons yet. And I'm talking about the Chechen leader Kadyrov. He made some statements that I really believe that uh, he would uh, follow through with uh, whatever he says. So let's see, this article comes from uh, Ukrainska Pravda and it's from today, the 25th of October 2022. This is the title. Chechen leader, who is Ramzan Kadyrov, strong guy, calls for Ukrainian cities to be, quote unquote, wiped out. Uh, remember, this is the same uh, individual who um, said or urged Russia to use uh, tactical nuclear weapons, little ones, little nuclear weapons in uh, Ukraine. So, Ramzan Kadyrov, head of the Chechen Republic, has accused the armed forces of Ukraine of attacking Russian oblasts and expressed his dissatisfaction with Russia's quote-unquote weak responses. So, <laughs> This is good cup and bad cup uh, game, Putin and <laughs> Kadyrov. The Kremlin-controlled head of Chechnya has repeated several times that what is going on is not Putin's special military operation, but a war. According to Kadyrov, this war is, and I'm quoting, between Orthodox Christians, Muslims and Satanists. So you Satanists over there are in bad shape, whomever those might be. Quote, and I'm uh, uh, going to read what I think Kadyrov says. Huh? Earlier, we said that we were conducting a mili special military operation on the territory of Ukraine, on the territory of Ukraine. But now the war is already on our territories. I'm very unhappy about this. We have already declared martial law on the occupied territories, but they, the Ukrainians, do not hesitate. They shoot. <laughs> what do you expect? I think our response is weak. If a shell lands on our side, in our region, we have to wipe the cities off the face of the earth so that the distant horizon is visible. <laughs> Is also using a kind of like uh, poetry or uh, how should I put it? Uh, you know, he's got some artistical uh, vision visions to make them realize that they cannot even consider attacking our side. End quote. So I think our response is weak. If we shell, if a shell lands on our side in our region, we have to wipe the cities off the face of the earth so that the distant horizon is visible to make them realize that they cannot even consider attacking our side." End quote. Now, previously, Kadyrov claimed that three of his sons, aged between 14 and 16, have visited the line of contact in Ukraine. Well, I made a video with uh, two of them, I think, two of his uh, teenage sons bringing a, a, two, I think, two Ukrainian uh, prisoners in front of their father as, you know, this is prize right here. Uh, they brought men, so they were not like naked women as others used to do. I mean, I think they all, but anyway. So they are involved in that, at least according to that video. And uh, I know why they mention this. I know uh, why they say, oh, his, his three children minor from 15 to 16 or whatever and so on. And uh, that would be, see how awful is child abuse or this and that and neglect and tra la la. Okay, got that one. But uh, the thing is, I always uh, mention that uh, prior to, I don't know, how many, 100 years ago or so, uh, it was really um, in many parts of this planet, adulthood was really starting from a very young age. And I mentioned, uh, for instance, medieval Japan, when you say, oh my God, Emil, you go to medieval Japan. Oh, well, this is just as a matter of fact. I'm not saying this to defend Kadyrov's uh, 
decision there. Those are his children, so he is in charge of that, and he obviously is the state, if you consider that he's the leader of Chechnya. So yeah, go and arrest him or open a uh, CPS case on that guy. <laughs> okay, you want to blow up the building. So uh, he decides that for his children. What can you do um, in the, under the circumstances? So the Japanese. In the medieval times were considered adults at 13. So when you were 13, you were 14, you're an adult. So you had to act like and you were more mature or you had to mature much, much earlier. On the same uh, uh, way I mentioned in another video, Admiral Nelson. My uh, English friends know who that uh, was. And um, you can look over to uh, him and uh, his life and realized that I think when he was about 14 or something like that, he was still a teenage guy, he was in charge of a crew on a ship given to him. Uh, 13, 14, I think it was 14 or something like that. So anyway, under our current soybean uh, pussified uh, society, that would be really, he was supposed to be in a kindergarten building blocks at 14 and good job, roll over now, Nelson, good job. That's what was ex is expected right now. Uh, on the other hand, I'm going to make this last point. Nature is nature and we can artificially you know, make rules like uh, we always do. But nature tells us when things are ready. When you are an adult or when you're not an adult, we can say, well, the brain is not developed. That's true. That's true. But on the other hand, our physical uh, transformations tell us when we are uh, able to bear children or uh, impregnate and make children. So that is uh, a, a, a passage from childhood to, uh, um, uh, how do you call it, um, adulthood, according to nature. Or, obviously, we, the society, are in charge and we determined uh, for the benefit of the society and the people, because you can have a 13-year-old, 14-year-old, really, what kind of decision-making uh, uh, abilities that person has no but on the other hand uh, you can uh, by exposing people to different uh, environments like for instance i'm pretty sure nelson admiral nelson was exposed to a lot of uh, stuff he experienced life you can say well his brain was not developed that's true that's true but uh, he can uh, still uh, learn by exposure and how much he can understand he can understand but uh, direct experience is one thing, uh, learning from books is a different thing, and meditating about issues is another thing. But in order to meditate, you either read about it, you were told, so out external or direct experience. Um, I'm not uh, obviously condoning uh, Kadyrov's uh, decision to send his children on the front, and his statements obviously are not dangerous because imagine that Kadyrov would have um, nuclear weapons or anything like that then um, that would be um, very bad but you know a person who uh, talks too much about uh, doing this and doing that usually is not going to do anything uh, when the chance offers itself uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, I would say, uh, he doesn't have any weapons of mass destruction as I, as of now. And I don't know if he, if he would be allowed ever to have that. On the other hand, you think, okay, this guy is so hot-headed here and doesn't have them, thank God, let's put it this way. What about Putin, who has them and who's in the middle of it? This guy's not really in the middle of it. He's stuck in sem himself in the middle of it. But Putin is in the middle of it and he still keeps the balance or not only him because I don't think he's the only decision-making individual when it's about using nuclear weapons in Russian leadership uh, he, he can't and as of now um, he didn't use and I don't think he's gonna use he's gonna be uh, uh, give him probably a warning if things become uh, worse but I don't think things will become worse for Russia why because it has a much greater potential, human potential, than Ukraine. Because, you know, Ukraine is just a place where Russia and United States are fighting right now. But Ukrainians have a finite number of people that can work, so do the Russians. The Russians have more, Ukrainians have less. So once you, as I would use uh, Kadyrov's uh, term, wipe them, then wipe them out, who's going to come and fight?
the ones who are already there, but they have to show. Then you're gonna just capture and find that, hey, these are just this, 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 these are not Ukrainians, what are these? Well, the ones that we knew, they are there already. So thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.